Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, unboxing the new Books Go 10.3. So yes, another e-reader video today, an unboxing and first impressions video um, for this, the new Books Go 10.3. Um, I should say up front, Books very kindly sent me this device for review, um, as well as the video today, I'll do a full review video probably in a week or two once I've had a chance to, to really use it. Um, I am also a Books affiliate, so you'll find affiliate links in the description to this video, um, should you like the look of this device and decide you want to buy one. Um, Books, I think, are turning out some really interesting devices at the moment. My first kind of impression of them was through the Books Palmer, which I bought a while ago. I really love this, this kind of pocket-sized e-reader. Um, I've also got a Books Go Color 7, uh, which is their kind of medium-sized um, colour e-reader, which again is really fantastic. Um, so I'm really interested to get into this box and see what the 10.3 is all about. It's slightly different from most e-readers. I think they're doing something quite interesting here. So A, it's bigger. It's like kind of iPad size. It's a 10.3-inch screen. Um, it's also very focused on note-taking, so it comes with a stylus, um, and you can take notes on it like you can with something like the Kindle Scribe or the Remarkable 2. The other thing that's really interesting about it is they've kind of gone backwards to go forwards with this device. So they've made two really interesting choices. One is there is no SD card slot. So like the other books devices I've just shown, this runs Android. It's running Android 12. Um, so you can install apps and things like that. It comes with, I think, 64 gigabytes of like kind of on-device on storage. But unlike the Palmer or the Books Go Color 7, it doesn't have an SD card slot. And I think they've done that in order to keep the device more simple and also keep it really, really slim. So this is a very, very thin device. I think I'm right in saying it's only 4.6 millimeters thick, which is like this. I think it's the thinnest device um, of its kind of size that you can get at the moment. It's certainly thinner than the um, the new iPad Pro that came out recently, which I think is 5.1 millimeters thick. So, um, so super, super thin. Um, and the other thing they've done is that's really interesting, I think, is it doesn't have an inbuilt light. So you think of pretty much any e-reader you can buy nowadays, they have an inbuilt light, like the, like the Kindle Paperwhite, that kind of style of light, which is actually not a backlight. So people often call it a backlight, but it's actually a front light. So the the light for those things tends to be round the edges of the screen and it kind of projects through a film across the top of the screen. What that means is there's an extra layer between you and the e-ink screen. And I think books have very deliberately not included uh, a light in this device so that the e-ink screen is even more present for you as a user. Um, right, so that's a bit of a preamble. Um, I'm going to flip the camera now and get into this and see what it's like. Okay, so let's go. Uh, here we have it. I have to say the packaging is really, really nice. I don't know if you can see that slightly recessed writing uh, across the side there. They've done a great job of making the packaging look really stylish. Uh, slide it out and have a look. Uh, so there we go. A nice sturdy black box. Uh, nothing on there at all other than the book's logo on the front. Let's slide that off. So here we go. And it is a really nice looking device um, because it's e-ink it's already uh, kind of screen um, already has something on it which is one of the wonderful things about e-ink and I'm taking it out and it does feel super thin um, let me put that to one side I'm assuming that's just got cables and things in let's take this uh, film off if I can and have a look at it Oh yeah, that is very, very slim. Can you see that? You can see how they didn't manage to put an SD card slot, because look, it's only just big enough uh, for the uh, USB-C charging port. Um, super, super thin. Very nice looking. I love the way it's got this kind of silver, like the white and silver um, surround. Really nice and light in the hand. Very comfortable to hold and has this really nice kind of Kind of faux leather back i assume it's faux leather but like a nice textured back um and then i don't know if you can just see there uh books go series um but aside from that the branding is very very minimal just the books logo there um so yes feels like a very nicely designed very stylish device um let's see what else we've got in the box 
together just this small cardboard box inside it which has got inside the stylus and just a charging cable so nice and simple so this again feels very nice it's nicely textured um one flat side there a little cover on it but yeah that's nice that feels very nice nice and light uh, i'm not sure how it's powered because it doesn't appear to have any charging port so i'll have to figure that out or maybe it doesn't need one at all um but yes a nice nice stylus to go with it which i assume will magnetically attach yeah it could because it's so slim um there's not much surface for it to magnetically attach to but it does just clip onto the side there um there is also a cover so i will show you that in a minute what i'm going to do now is get this powered up and connected to my wi-fi and then come back and show you what it's all about okay so i've done what i normally do with a new device uh, i've connected it to my wi-fi um signed into google play and downloaded some apps and i've chucked some books on here as well the highlight of this device is definitely the screen. I don't know if it's if it's clear on camera just how crisp and clear that screen is, but it really is incredible. Um, I don't know if that's purely down to not having um, the front light included, but it really feels like you are looking at a piece of paper with stuff on it. It's quite incredible. And the lightness and thinness of the device is really, really nice as well. Um, so if I go into a book on here, um, I can just show you how nice the text looks. You can see I've used the pen and kind of scribbled a bit on here as well. And the pen works really nicely. Um, I'm not a huge annotator or note taker, um, but the pen does, does seem to work fantastically well. Um, so yeah, you can see that screen is really crisp, um, refreshes really, really nicely when you go through a book. So absolutely fantastic. Um, if we go back to uh, the home screen so this is set up very much like the books go color 7 in that it feels like a device that is an e-reader first and foremost so it's an e-reader you can also install apps on rather than the tablet is definitely how i would position it um so you've got the tabs down the side here so you've got the, the library you've got the store where you can download like classic ebooks and things like that stuff that's out of copyright um you've got the notes tab um so this is where you can go in and create all sorts of different notepads. So there's loads of different templates and things like that. Um, let's create one with that one. And then you can just use the stylus to your heart's content. There's loads of different options, which I haven't even looked at properly yet. Um, but as you can see, there's a load of different things down the side there. Other people's videos on the note taking side of, of things will probably be better than mine because I'm not a big note taker and much more of a reader. Um, so if we go back to here, uh, you've got a storage tab, which just tells you about, you know, what you've got stored on the device. And then you've got the apps tab. So you can see the Google Play Store, which comes installed on the device. As I said, I've signed into that. If I go into that, you can see, you know, you can install any apps you want on this thing. Um, they will work, you know, they, they will work with the limitations of a black and white ink screen, um, but they will work. Um, so I've installed... Uh, the Kobo Books app, so if we go into there, um, you can see, again, you know, things just render really, really nicely on this. It's a lovely, clear, crisp screen. Um, if I go back to um, the kind of home page of Kobo Books, you can see, um, you know, my library is accessible there. So if you're someone who reads on either Kobo or Kindle, you can install those apps on this device and, and use them um, to access your libraries. Um, I've also put a manga app on here, um, or a couple of manga apps. So if I go into one of those, this really feels like it's going to be a great device for reading manga on. If I go into, um, if I go into this this mermaid one, which I know nothing about, but look at that! Look how great that looks. It really does look absolutely fantastic. Refreshes nice and quickly. And that's that it's just so clear i can't get over how good this looks i can see myself reading an absolute ton of manga on this thing and because you can install apps you can install things like fizz manga and shonen jump um uh, which have you know fairly low monthly subscription rates and you can access an absolute ton of manga on them so yeah i'm very impressed with this so far but the screen is definitely the standout feature it is absolutely gorgeous i can see myself reading a ton of stuff on this um, including a ton of manga. So yeah, really looking forward to putting it through its paces um, over the next couple of weeks uh, and I will report back soon. 
So hope you found that interesting. I think it looks like a really, really interesting device. I'm really keen to start using it um, and come back and give you a full review of it. Uh, so look out for that in the next week or two. Anyway, I will leave it there and say, as always, thank you very much for watching. Hope you're safe and well out there. Hope you're reading good stuff and I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.